What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and we got a great video for you today. As usual, it's the second of the day, and it's gonna be the top five budget players at each position. We're gonna go through it fast, but man, I've been wanting to get this video out for a while. I love budget cards, and to be honest, budget cards play better than 99s for me, and I'm gonna show you, like, bro. We're going to go over it, we're going to get into it, and a lot of these budget cards play amazing, and let's get into it. So, as per usual, drop 10k in the comments. If you are new, drop the sub. All you got to do to enter the giveaway, drop 10k. We're going to give away 10k, okay? I'm sorry for not letting you know. But we're going to give away 10k, and all you have to do to enter is comment and like the vid, and just sub if you are new, man. We're grinding every day for you, giving away back to the subs, but let's start it off with the catcher. And we're gonna start it off strong. So we're gonna we're gonna start this off. So we're gonna start off with a silver. And this guy is an unbelievable beast. The stats don't look like it, but the vision is there. Williams Ostadilo. I am the biggest fan. First of all, I'm, am I the biggest fan? He likes my tweets. I love the guy. Not only he has 99 vision out of silver. The stats suck, but I've played in games with him, and in battle royale, he's done good for me. I recommend this card. His stats suck. But I'm telling you, he's unbelievable. We're just going to start off with him, okay? I'm telling you, cop him. His stats are going to go up. He's been playing pretty good. He's batting like three something for the Twins. So keep that in mind. Next up, we got Gary freaking Sanchez, bro. He has been unbelievable as of late. Another home run today. Unbelievable car, guys. Look at the stats. Budget baller. I see diamond teams rocking Gary Sanchez all the time at catcher. Just because he just hits homers. Like, you, that could change games right there. So, for 1K, that's budget. That's amazing. Let's get into some more catchers. Okay. We got Yasmani Grandal. Yeah, he's slow. But, bro, he's a switch hitting catcher with power. With good fielding. So, what can I say? He's a budget baller. 1K, Yasmani Grandal. Yeah, uh, for me, that's a, that's a definite. We got Buster Posey. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I've used Buster Posey. I'm not putting him on this list. He stinks in this game. He has contact, but for some reason, he has a strikeout problem. Don't ask me how. I Every time I verse Buster Posey, Diamond Posey, and Gold Posey, I K him up and he K's up for me. I had to stop using him. I don't think he's good. But yeah, let's keep going. We got Wilson Ramos. Okay, his fielding isn't the best. 60 is decent, but... He is, he is hitting stats. If you want a hitting catcher, Wilson Ramos is definitely an option. JT Romuto, his fielding is not good. That's why I'm not going to put him on the list. But yeah, that's all I'm going to do for the... Oh, Wilson Contreras is a beast. Also, Yadier Molina with that vision fielding. He's good. I would definitely put him on the list. I like him more than a lot of the gold catchers in this game. Definitely would put him on there. And yeah, Wilson Contreras is pretty good too. He's all around decent. I freak with this card. He's nice. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, we're going to get a first baseman. I have a lot of favorites in this one. We're just going to start it off. I just want to put it out there that Daniel Murphy is going to be the best card in this. And I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if everyone says his fielding sucks. But, yo, Murphy has diamond hitting. His fielding is not good. But to be honest, I have a diamond team. I start Murphy at first. I don't care. I play so good with him. He is batting 380 for me. 380 on ranked seasons. This guy is a monster. His vision is there. His contact's there. The power isn't the best. The fielding isn't the best. But I'm going to tell you. Believe me. Daniel Murphy. If you guys remember in the playoffs. I don't know. Like. I'm sorry. I'm a Mets fan. But yo. This guy plays amazing. If you're watching this. You're a budget baller. Pick up Murphy. He will hit dingers for you. He's literally a gap to gap player. He will hit in the gaps every single time. I promise. But sorry for that rant. That was, that was a little long. But yeah. The goal first baseman. So, we got Paul Canerco. Not a bad card, but 2K? Ah, ah. Okay, Rizzo. Rizzo is a must for a bunch of ballers. 1,300 stubs. You can't go wrong. The stats are there. Just look at it. We got Paul Canerco is a pretty good bunch of card. I did not use him, but the stats can't lie, right? The fielding's not the best, but looks like a pretty good card. I would definitely try it out. Let's get to Miggy. Miggy isn't that bad, to be honest. His diamond's obviously better, but for a gold card, you could, you could rock this Miggy. Pretty decent vision, pretty decent power, pretty decent contact. I recommend it. And we got Jose Abreu is up on this list because he's about to turn gold. So who's watching this, just use him. If you're a bunch of baller, you need a first baseman. The stats are fire, and I think he's going to turn gold. So that's going to be lit. And last one, we got Hoskins, bro. 
This guy can hit some nukes. This guy can change some games. As you can see by the stats, fielding isn't the best. But on first base, my Murphy has like 20 fielding. He doesn't make any errors for me. Only my outfielders seem to make errors. So, yeah. Let's get into the next one. This is going to be a longer video. I'm sorry for that. But, yeah. We got second base. Okay, we're just going to start off with Wit. Wit's a budget baller. Unbelievable. He's going to go up an overall. If you get him for this price, unbelievable. Ozzy Albius is another budget baller. He's cheap. He's a Braves. He's fast. He's got feeling. He's got vision. Budget baller alert. Okay, we got Robinson Cano. His vision's good. The fielding's good. I don't understand how they could give the man 12 speed. That's disrespect. The contact's there. He's really good, bro. I played with this card in the beginning of the game. He's amazing for me. I recommend him. DJ LeMahieu, my friend that I verse all-time friendlies. He's batting 400 against me with DJ LeMahieu. Don't ask me how. This guy's a bunch of baller. The contact, the vision, the fielding. The speed's decent. Not that good, but he's very good. Contact hitter. Honestly, I would say he's a perfect 2-8 to eight hitter. 2-8 hitter, very good for him. And last but not least, we got Scooter Jeanette. Okay, this guy's all-around good. I think he's going to come back, turn gold, but he's got a long way to go. And just because I'm a Mets fan, man, Jeff, Jeff McNeil's a stud. Look at the vision and contact. He's amazing. He's batting over 300. But let's get into the next one. We got third baseman. Okay, okay. There's a lot of third baseman, and we're going to talk... Josh Donaldson. Every budget baller I see has Josh Donaldson. The stats don't lie. Unbelievable all around besides speed. Pick him up. Great card. Josh Harrison. Another budget baller I see a lot. The vision, the contact, the speed, the feelings all there. Awesome, awesome, awesome card. Recommend it. Matt Carpenter. I do not see him a lot, but I do recommend this card. I've used him. He plays very well. In my budget squad video, if you haven't seen that, he had a dinger in a budget squad video. I thought it was a pop out and it was a no doubter. It's crazy stuff. Matt, Matt Carpenter is very good for me. Against the lefties, he might lack. But against righties, he's a beast. Juan Suarez, mm, he's nasty. The fielding's decent. The vision's decent. The power, the contacts, all there. Great third baseman card. And last but not least, this guy played for amazing for me in the beginning of the game. Miguel Anshuar, I think that's how you say his name. He just went out with a big surgery, but you know what? He's pretty freaking good. Stats don't lie. Pretty good all around. Pretty good vision. Pretty good arm strength. The fielding's a 33, which is such garbage. But man, he's a beast. Let's get into the next one. We got short stops. There's a lot of budget short stops. First of all, he was budget. Trey Turner's going up and overall, man. I consider him budget. I consider Story budget. Story has the best stats on my team in Diamond Dynasty. He blows away every single card. Him and Murphy are my tops. They're both on the Rockies. Look at the stats, bro. For 2,900 stubs, just get him. Believe me, he'll play amazing. Trevor Turner, I, I mean, Trey Turner. I see him on every team. Every budget bar team has Trey Turner. Pick him up. He's a, he's, he's a beast, bro. We got Carlos Correa. He's also amazing. All these gold shortstops literally look like diamond cards. And I'm going to top it off with one guy that's been amazing. It's Paul DeJong unbelievable pick him up he's gonna turn gold no he's gonna turn he cannot turn gold and we got Hanley Ramirez I'm gonna throw him another one he's just a beast every year they give him a gold card that's just unbelievable pick him up if you don't know where Hanley Ramirez is that stinks but he's a beast let's get into the next one Ozuna a beast budget card look at the stats yo he's all 70 and above just beautiful stats recommend him we got Tommy Pham, not bad at all. Honestly, the fielding's there, the speed's there, the contact's there, the power's there. Beast all around. We got Ben Attendee, his stats suck. Juan Soto, uh, his stats are amazing. Doesn't play good, but if you think you could do good with a lefty, I struggle Juan Soto, his stats don't lie. So try him out, give him a try. I'm going to put him on the list. We got Cespedes, baby. Cespedes is a beast, bro. If you want another Cespedes, go get the 84. The 84 is also a beast for 2K, man. He's a freaking tank. I recommend him, bro. Look at that arm strength. He's a beast. I play with him on my diamond squad all the time. And last but not least, if you're looking for dingers, we got Chris Davis and Joey Gallo, bro. Look, I mean, the vision is just atrocious. Don't just, I mean, if you want to just keep your zone down low and pray it goes there, hit a dinger, that's good for you. But yeah, Chris Davis and Gallo looking dirty. We got center fielders. Here we go. Starling Marte, we got Springer, okay, he's not that budget anymore, but he was like 2k if you have him in your squad, yo, kudos to you, he might go diamond, he might go to 84, 
His stats are still unbelievable. 5K, I guess I would say it's budget. I don't know. If you want him to be your star, him and Okuno would be my stars if I was running a budget baller team. I love both of them. We got... Honestly, there's not a lot of good budget center fielders. For a leadoff man, if you're rocking budget, I'll go Billy Hamilton. Clearly, he can't hit. Honestly, just do a drag bunt. What's his bunt stats? Yeah, the bunts are good. Yo, just, just bunt with Billy Hamilton. Try to get on base. You probably will. Little cheese hits up the middle. That will be good. But honestly, center fielders are lacking. I don't like anybody. We got Jared Dyson with some speed. Actually, no. Only an 80. Eh. Oh, I love JBJ, but he's doing terrible. But yeah. We only got three for the center fielder. Honestly, I'm not a fan. Of oh, I forgot Lorenzo Kane. He's unbelievable this year. Look at the contact. Look at the vision, the fielding, the speed, the reaction. He's a beast. But, yeah, that's all I got. Kiermaier's hitting is not good enough. The fielding, uh, uh, I don't know. I just never was a fan of Kiermaier. But let's get into the last one, baby. We got right fielders. And here it is, man. Right fielders are a good one. We got Ken Griffey Sr. He's a budget baller. I've seen kids destroy me with this card. Honestly, I'm not even kidding. I'm not the best at the game, but it's just frustrating to see this card go off against me. We got, uh, who else we got? Okay, Austin Meadows. When he was cheaper, he was a beast. Bro, I played Battle Royale with this card. He is unbelievable. I love his batting stance, number one. He just plays amazing. I would definitely tell you to pick him up. This card is also amazing. He's on my bench. Babe freaking Ruth, bro. Who doesn't want Babe Ruth, Big Daddy Babe? He's an animal. Pick him up. I highly recommend the card. He's an amazing pitch hitter for me. He comes in and hits no doubters all the time. So that's awesome. And, okay. Charlie Blackman, father, has been unbelievable. He's going to go diamond this year, in my opinion. I think he is. Charlie Blackman, a must cop in the budget squad. I see budget squads rocking him all the time. And we're going to go, we're going to do two more. Nelson Cruz, just because he could come in and just hit a no doubter. The power, the, the hitting is phenomenal. The arm strength is phenomenal. The fielding is just miserable. But like, if you just pray to God, he doesn't hit it to right field. You're fine. If he hits a line drive to right field, you're going to have some issues, but he's a good card overall hitting wise. And Mitch Haniger, they need to upgrade this guy. He's amazing this year, but whatever. He's on the list just because I'm a fan of him. He's been awesome this whole year. And last but not least, we got Otani. I'm going to tell you, for a pitch hitter, Otani will come in and he will, he will hit that nuke. He, his batting stance is beautiful. The arm strength's good. The feeling's good. The speed's good. The power against lefties, the contact, he's not good against lefties. If you know he's playing a righty pitcher, sub him in, he'll hit some nukes. And guys, that's all I got for you today. The last player is Otani. I hope you enjoyed. Team Bugs has been killing it. Thanks for the support. Drop 10k in the comments. Like the video so if you are new. And that's all I got. Peace! Hey,